Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is Tim Oceanter, and uh, <clears throat> as you can tell, my allergies are being allergies. Um, and this isn't a gaming video. However, I'm hoping that maybe, possibly, um, that I will be able to get one up uh, before I leave tonight. Um, I um, last night, Trucker Gamer, yo, dude, hi. Um, <laughs> gave me um, uh, an idea. Uh, he made it a suggestion about maybe doing reviews on games. And I decided, gosh, I don't know. I don't play that many games, to be perfectly honest. There's, I, I, you know, I'm not constantly playing new games because I just don't have the time. Um, and when I find a game, I just want to play it, play it, play it, play it. So I don't, you know, pick up a lot of games and play new games too often. And, because, uh, I mean, right now, I mean, I have a bunch in my queue that I have never played that I got, you know, in the summer and sometimes even like during last Christmas time or whatever, when there was um, sales and whatnot. So I decided that uh, instead of doing your reviews, his his suggestion gave me an idea. Instead of doing reviews, I thought I would um, make a, a, a few videos of... Um, the games that I have sitting in my queue that are um, that I've either played and already recorded some videos for, but just haven't put on the channel yet, or games that I haven't played at all and um, will someday be on the channel when I get around to playing them. Um, and I I did to make it a little bit different than me just talking like I am right now. Um, Jesus. My socks are falling apart, I swear I got pulling all these strings out of my socks. Um, instead of making it like that, where it's just me banging my gums um, for extended periods of time, uh, that uh, I would talk a little bit about the games uh, that I have, and then record, like, um, <coughs> excuse me, add, like, um, like video of the release trailers um, and stuff like that. And I'm only using like the official release trailers from whatever developer or whatever is um, releasing them because I don't want to, you know, step on somebody else's toes and put up somebody else's video and make people mad at me and stuff like that. Not that they'd probably ever know because they'd probably never come to this site. But I don't want people pissed off about at me. I mean, I, I'm a semi-professional photographer, so I understand about people stealing your uh, intellectual properties and things like that and taking in without permission and all that kind of stuff. So um, I did that. I, I got some, uh, found some trailers. I made, I don't know, a couple videos last night. Um, and I made, uh, because the trailers are usually very short, I think the longest one was like four minutes. The longest one that I recorded was like four minutes. Um, you know, I talked a little bit about the game. If I knew the game, some of these games I don't know anything about because <laughs> I haven't played them yet. Um, but I, I, you know, I showed the launch trailer and said, you know, this looks pretty cool, whatever. And uh, or if I'd seen it played somewhere before, because sometimes I buy these games because hey, this guy over here, or this girl over here is playing this game and it looks pretty something like I like. It looks pretty cool. So I buy it, and then eventually I get around to playing it. Um, but uh, just... Uh, so I, was, I have like uh, three games on a couple of them. Two games on a couple. And then I think I think the last one is just going to be one set of games, because it's a game series um, that I have. And, and I haven't... I've played half of them, but I haven't played the other half. So, um, the series that I spotlighted, in case you're all interested in knowing what I'm going to put up videos about. Um, hold on here. I must put on my socks. It's really bothering me to have my socks off. So, if you've come to a video with me putting clothes on again. Um, so, okay, here we go. Um, the games that I have that I'm going to put up eventually at some point in time, play and record video and put on the channel <clears throat> are Detroit Become Human, Life is Strange, A Plague Tale Innocence, oh my gosh, I just brushed my teeth and uh, I have really bad cotton mouth, toothpaste sucks all the moisture out of my mouth, it's making me want to cough and 
stuff. So forgive me if I do that. I'm trying really hard not to. So where was I? Let me start again. Detroit Become Human, Life is Strange, A Plague Tale Innocence, Ghost Recon Wildlands. That's Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Well, better give Tom Clancy his credits. Um, XCOM 2, Dying Light, Generation Zero, Watch Dogs, and the Telltale series of The Walking Dead games. There are four of those games, uh, of which I've only played two. Um, they're really good, though. And I should probably do another Telltale game, too, just because you guys might be interested in it. It's very weird, but it's a lot of fun. And that game is um, called The Wolf Among Us. I'm just adding this to my list right now. I've played it before a couple of times through. Um, it's also a Telltale game. A Telltale. God, that... Or just, it's hard. It sounds like you're just saying Telltale, but I'm not. It's Telltale. Uh, Telltale uh, Studios has gone belly up, which is really sad because a lot of their stuff was really good. Um, they also had a Game of Thrones game that uh, Telltale did, but it wasn't as good as their other games. Um, in that these games. Kind of like Detroit Become Human, the Telltale games of um, The Wolf Among Us, The Walking Dead, and whatnot. Um, the choices you make affect the outcome of the game. Characters remember things that you do, and then later on they react to you accordingly. Um, the... Uh, the Game of Thrones Telltale game was supposed to be like that, but no matter what you did, they pretty much pointed you in a direction. It didn't have many tree, you know, branches on its trees to follow, is what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that it was a sucky game. I actually enjoyed it, but it was supposed, it was supposed to be the se uh, first season, and there was never a uh, follow-up game, so it left you on a cliffhanger. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, that was sad. <laughs> it made me sad because it was. I really liked it, and I really wanted to get into that series um, because um, the Walking Dead game, like the, I mean the uh, Game of Thrones game on Telltale, like the Walking Dead game, it's in the same universe as the characters from the TV show and the books. However, they're original characters. They're not f characters from the books at all. So, um, like in the Walking Dead game, you run across people from the story in the books, in the in the TV show. You run into Herschel and Glenn. And um, maybe at some point later on, because I've only played two of the four games, so I don't know. but uh, And I can't remember the second game very much, because it's been a really long time ago since I played it. Um, you run into characters every now and then, but they don't like hang out with you. You're with them for you know a little bit, and then you move on, or they move on, or whatever. Um, and the same is true of the Walking, I mean the uh, Game of Thrones. And honestly, it's been a while since I played it, and I can't remember if they ran into any characters from the game. Um, in that one, you're like a, a family that's like a um, a more wealthy family. Um, but because it's Game of Thrones, shit just comes to your doorstep and, um, yeah, nothing good happens and then all kinds of, all manner of shit breaks loose and you're fighting all over the place and, yeah, so, but it's a good game. I, I might put in the, that one too, just in case anybody wants to play through it, even though there's no proper ending, maybe I'll add that one too got. Okay. So, um, some of these games I've played, like XCOM, I play XCOM all the time. It's one of my favorite games in the whole wide world, historically, from like back in the 90s. Now, this is a modern version of XCOM. There are other, um, the 90s versions. Uh, they were microprose games, I think, back in, uh, 
the early 90s, early to mid 90s. Uh, you can find them on Steam, so if you're looking to play some uh, old school uh, XCOM, uh, one of them is the one that I had, which is the second game was Terror for the Deep, Terror from the Deep. I don't remember what the first name, first game was called. Um, XCOM something. <laughs> XCOM. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't have that game. I really, 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 really enjoyed XCOM Terror from the Deep. That was like one of my favorite games to play in the um, the 90s um, because it was very strategic. I mean, looking at it now, it's like this game. This is, I can't believe I was so into this game just because things have changed so much in gaming. I mean, if it were still 1990 three or whatever I would still be like all about it um, it's a um, squad based it's and it still is squad based turn based gameplay um, so you have to be strategic and all of that fun stuff and you have fog of war so you can't see when you put your squad out <clears throat> you can't see what's gone going on over there <laughs> you can't see outside of your uh, your soldier's line of sight or you know range of vision whatever you want to call it and um, so that's kind of scary and um, in Terror from the Deep um, which was the second game it was the premise that the aliens had uh, pushed the humans off of the earth and into the ocean as the last I mean they had taken over the ground and the earth and the humans were hiding in the ocean and um, the premise is that the aliens, aliens are now coming into the ocean after the remaining humans, uh, you know, take over the whole world. So you're fighting most of your battles uh, underwater. Your little soldiers are called aquanauts, I think. Pretty sure they were. That's what comes to mind anyway. Uh, you do fight some battles on like cruise ships and things like that, but mostly you fight underwater. It's kind of cool game. It's on Steam. It's probably like three bucks, four bucks maybe. It has to be really cheap because it's from the way back. Uh, it's a fun little game and there is a learning curve because you do have to like... I'm pretty sure in that one you still have to base build too. And then, you know, you have to make sure that the soldiers you're sending out aren't prone to panic. So you got to like pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> Or bad, bad things are going to happen. Uh, the only thing that I really liked better about the original XCOM, at least the Terror from the Deep one, is that you had a squad of about hmm, 10 or 12, maybe? 8? I don't know. It was, a, maybe it was 8 or 10. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it was, it was a, you had a, a, a fair amount of uh, dudes on your team. And in the modern XCOM, the most uh, you ever have in your squad is six. And uh, sometimes the, uh, <laughs> the alien forces are a little overwhelming and six just doesn't seem like enough. And you only start with four. You have to, like, make uh, some discoveries and rank up some people and do all of that kind of stuff before you... Because uh, you have to have, like, a sergeant in your squad... And then you have to like purchase it, this uh, squad rank, squad number, squad size, up one. So you start with only four, and you can only have four until you get a sergeant in your midst, and then you can purchase squad size to five, and then you have to have a captain, and then you can purchase squad size to six. So you have to be trying to be strategic and doing what you need to do, keeping your people alive so they can rank up and all that fun stuff. Um, but anyway, these are um, all the games that I've... Uh, well, not all the games I've played. Um, some of the games, like I said, I have video recorded to put up here of XCOM. Um, XCOM 2, I should say. And... Who else? Ghost Recon. Uh, Wildlands. Uh, I have some of Dying Light as well, and I do have some of The Walking Dead from the Telltale series. Uh, I started playing that. The 
problem with that is you can't just with the Telltale series is you can't like save willy nilly. You have to like get through a chapter, which makes recording a bit of a pain in the ass because you have to play until the chapter is over, which can be pretty long sometimes. I mean, not like four hours or anything. It would be like 45 minutes an hour, maybe less. Um, so I have to be careful when I decide to record those that I don't have to like leave my <laughs> my house before it's done. Um, so I've done some of those because I do really like that game and I really do want to get to the last two. Uh, they call the games uh, each game an episode or whatever. No, maybe they call them series chapters. I don't remember. They do it like a TV show. So like at the end of the game, like if you finish game the first game. It, it gives you all the stats on how you compared to other players around the world that have played the game. You know, this many people also decided to shoot that zombie in the head. This many people decided to spare so-and-so's life, yada yada. And um, then it ends. And then when you start the next game, it, it, especially on uh, The Wolf Among Us, I think it was, previously... Oh, The Walking Dead does it too. Previously on The Walking Dead, like it's a TV show that you're playing, but it's actually a game. Well, it is kind of a TV show too. And then it shows you the things that happened in the uh, little bit that you were playing before. Um, so I had to have some of that. I also have a little bit of the Inno uh, Plague Tale Innocence because I really want to play that game. Uh, and uh, the only reason that I stopped playing the game after I started because I have played a bit. Um, It's because of lighting issues. It, the game is really dark. Um, so I have to figure out how to lighten the videos and or record them over again. So so that's what I'm going on about today. Um, I don't think the video is going to get rendered soon enough for me to put it up tonight. I'm running out of time. Um, I did not forget today was Monday. Did not. I knew today was Monday, um, but I also had physical therapy, and it was at a less convenient time for me. So I basically came home, shoved food in my head because I was starving this morning. Um, let the dogs out and stuff. I didn't have a lot of time, but I also didn't go directly to physical therapy, so there was like a lag of about an hour, and then I laid down on the couch for a little while because I was just so tired. <laughs> it's Monday and I was tired and uh, it was just like dragging ass. I didn't want to lay down because usually that makes me more sleepy. But I just wanted to lay down and relax a little bit before I had to go to physical therapy but I fell about halfway asleep. So then when I went to physical therapy I was like drained and then when I got back from physical therapy they were running late so I didn't get home till almost 10 o'clock which is past my bedtime so I was just tired and tonight I was still tired so I, I laid down um, after I got up and had some food I laid back down on the couch and watched some uh, YouTube -y videos um, and kind of slept through some YouTube videos a little bit like listening with an ear but two eyes closed and maybe waking up and finding a different YouTube video running kind of like that um, trying to Trying to stay going here, so I gotta go to work. I can't go to work. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna fall out. Particularly now that I'm on modified duty, because um, to be honest, I don't do anything at all. Uh, I mean, I do have control of the entire building, obviously. As I said, I run all the phones and the fire panels and the multi line phone, and I open all the, you know, I actually physically control the building. If I don't want you to go somewhere in the building, you're not going because you have to wait for me to let you in. Or let you out as the case may be um, but it is third shift and we don't have that much movement people that are on their units tend to stay on their units for the most part they don't wander around too much um, so uh, I read a book usually and uh, it, it gets tired. You know, if you're in there and you're in a box, you're not moving. There's no moving around. I mean, you could, like, walk to the other side of the room and back. But it's about the size of a bathroom. So, 
like a, a nice size master bathroom so like you're like what three steps four steps five steps and yeah <laughs> there's no really no stepping to the left or right because there's it's only like a two person wide path through there because of all the uh, electronics and uh, shelving and countertops and all of that kind of stuff that are coming out from the walls so there's like um, it's uh, it's actually a reasonably wide room maybe 10 foot eight nine and a half feet ten feet but the path in between them is maybe six feet because of all the shit that comes out um, electronics and stuff and cabinets and shelving and all this stuff for all this other crap that has to go in there so it's not a very big room is what I'm telling you and I don't move around very much and when you just sit there all night and don't have anything to do um, don't get me I'm enjoying it <laughs> don't get me wrong it's nice to have a break and just like chill and not have to do anything I have to deal with anybody's bullshit um, just sit in there and read a book and be all cool and chilly and happy my nights go by really fast um, but it also makes you a bit tired because you're not moving around at all and uh, so that was really tired when I came home this morning and yeah actually I think that video is done rendering so um, I'm gonna go ahead and it sounds like it's done rendering I should say I don't the, the, the computer is not grinding right now so I think it's done so I'm gonna go sign off from here and try to get that up before the end of the day uh, before I have to leave so um, I'm working on some stuff hopefully um, because like I said, I was at physical therapy today. My range of motion is getting better. Uh, it doesn't hurt as much to bend my elbow like towards my head. Uh, I don't have a lot of strength in my wrist. I'm only working with one pound. This is what I'm curling right now. One pound. And um, it doesn't really hurt the part that I had surgery, but it hurts the other part of my elbow. Um, so they suspect, my physical therapist suspects, that I had such bad uh, medial epicondylitis that I didn't realize that I also had lateral epicondylitis or what is commonly known as tennis elbow because when I'm doing these things that she wants me to do to strengthen the area where they cut out my uh, tendon on the medial side on the lateral side or the outside it's starting to pull and hurt so, so there's probably an injury to that as well which is actually not outside the realm of possibility because on my other arm I did have golfer's elbow and tennis elbow in the same arm. I actually had tennis elbow um, to the point where I have and still have a lump. There's a lump in my arm. So I'm like, I, I don't know what that is. Nobody knows what it is. They don't know if it's swelling. It's been there for a couple of years, ever since my tendonitis got really bad. Um, but yeah, it makes me look like I have Popeye elbow, because it's like a, it's not like a round lump, like a, like, when well, they have like a handmaidens, what do they call it, or a milker lady's, um, bursitis or some shit where you get like a the little round lump in your elbow. It's not like that. It's a, it's long and thin, and it's tall, and I mean like it's probably a half an inch tall. And it sticks up running along the ridge of my elbow. And I have the doctors and the physical therapists and everybody. And they're like, hmm, we don't know what that is. <laughs> like, That's good to know. Hope I'm not dying from like, what am I like an uh, arm full of cancer or some shit. Which I know is not true because, well, it, it would have gotten worse by now. And the lump used to hurt really bad until they shot uh, cortis cortisone in there because they shot it with about my lump with about four times with cortisone that ended the pain in my lump and so I don't really have any pain on the lateral side of my left elbow it's just on the medial side. I have golfer's elbow on the other elbow as well it's great times but anyways uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this and send this off to you real quickly and then I'm gonna see real quick if I can't uh, get the Monday's video up so Thanks for watching and listening and joining and subscribing, although it does appear that we might have lost somebody. 
<laughs> Probably because I'm yapping all the time and not doing it. I mean, I'm just doing games. I'm doing games three day days a week, which is exactly as many as I was doing before. It's just that I'm talking because I'm bored. But anyways, you guys be good, be safe, be kind, wear a mask, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.